Um, it is AD Video Editor here, and in today's tutorial, I will be going over the Sony Glint effect. In, of course, what else am I going to say besides Sony Vegas? So go ahead and open up Sony Vegas, and once you have that open, you are going to import some footage, and then we're going to add the effect. So, as usual, to add the effect, you're going to click the video effects icon in the lower right hand corner of the video track. And when you click that, you'll get the video effects window. And in the window, go ahead and find Sony Glint. And this is three up from the bottom. You see one, two, three, Sony Glint. And you can either add that by double clicking it or click add and then click OK. And by default, this is the settings that your Glint will be at. And you will see that there are two tabs, the Effect and Mask tab. So we're going to start with the Effect tab. First on the Effect tab is the Threshold. And the Threshold will adjust how much glint is in your video. However, the adjustment is pretty much the opposite as you would expect. As you increase the Threshold, the glint um, goes down, and as you decrease the Threshold, the glint will increase until when you have the threshold all the way down, you have nothing but a completely white screen. So go ahead and adjust that to however you would like it for your video. And next we have the boost. And the boost will adjust the intensity of your glint. So as I increase my boost, you see the whites of the boost become very white and intense. And as I decrease this, you'll see that the whites itself decrease and becomes transparent until it is nothing. So you want to adjust the boost to um, a certain amount that you like. And next we have the horizontal radius. And what this will do is it'll adjust the length of your streaks. And what I mean when I say streaks is you see these lines shooting out from all over. Those are your streaks. So as I increase my horizontal radius, you notice that my streaks will get longer, not too much longer, but slightly longer, and as I decrease it, they'll get a little bit shorter. And for the vertical radius, it'll do just what you think. It'll increase the verticalness of your streaks. So you see as I increase the vertical, not much from default, but if I go ahead and decrease it, you see how much the vertical change. And next we have the hue. And you should be familiar with the hue, as it adjusts the color of your glint. And then there's the hue sweep. And the hue sweep pretty much adjusts the starting point of your hue. So if I have my hue all the way here at this yellowish, orangish color, then I change my hue sweep, let's say to this blue, or how about, yeah, this blue down here the hue will start at the blue and and so now as I adjust this you see that it goes from blue to purple to pink to red to yellow to green and then back to blue okay and so go ahead and find a color of your liking so that you can have a nice glint color and then we have the saturation and you should know what the saturation does it will um, increase and decrease the amount of colorfulness in your video. So if you bring it down, your video will get black and, well not your video, but the effect will get black and white. And as you increase it, the colorfulness will increase and there will be more color in it. And then we have the orientation. And the orientation will rotate your, your glint 360 degrees in a circle. So if you play with that, you can clearly see how your glint and streaks rotate. And next we have the streaks, and the streaks are pretty much these lines, as I mentioned before, coming out of your effect. So if I bring the streak all the way down, you, there is no effect. But if I bring it up, you see first there's that one streak, then if I bring it two, you see there's that horizontal one, three, another diagonal one, and then four, if I want to increase it as before from before, then there will be another diagonal one. So I'm going to keep this at 3 as it had as default. 
and then we have reduced flicker and if you remember from a previous tutorial this will reduce a possible flickering you might have in your output of your video so if you want to you might want to be safe and put this on and then we have effect only and when this is selected it will allow you to only see the effect without your video footage behind it so now let's move on to the mask tab the first thing is the mask mode and there are four modes disabled effect source and show mask only disable will disable the mask so there is no mask applied and that is default then there is effect and in this the mask will only affect the effect and in source the mask will only affect the source footage and in show mask only you will see that you only get the mask not the effect not the source nothing so let's do this for the effect and when you change this it doesn't affect the settings at all it just chooses how your mask will appear on your video so go ahead and put this on effect and then we have your mask type and what this will do is it will adjust the type of mask you want so there's rectangle bar wipe and ellipse so we're going to start with the rectangle and the first thing in the rectangle is the softness so if i increase the softness the edges will soften however if i increase the softness then you will notice that the effect gets very small that's because such a small portion of my effect is selected right away so if I use the width and height adjustment then I can increase um, my effect and so as I change the softness it won't affect it as bad and next we have the corner radius and what this will do it will round the corners of the rectangle so as I round it you can't see so much but maybe around this side how the edges become a little bit more round rather than the straightness they were before and then lastly the x and y position change the location of your mask so you can just use this x to go side to side and y to go up and down and then we'll go on under the bar type and with the bar the first thing you'll see is the progress and what this will do is change the location of your mask from left to right kind of like adjusting the x position or x axis of your effect as in the rectangle so you can change the progress to wherever you want it and then the width will adjust how wide it is so if i want to cover the whole thing i can move the progress and adjust the width all the way up and then the fall off and the fall off is very similar to the softness as I increase the fall off, the edges will soften. However, you don't see such a gradual change with the fall off as you did with the softness. And then the angle will adjust the angle that your mask is on. So if I change the angle right here, you, you can see how the mask rotates or changes the angle. If my width is all the way up and I change the angle, you can't, well, and I move my progress right in the center, you won't be able to see any you won't be able to see much but if you decrease the width and change where your progress is if i have it off to the side and i change my angle you can see how the angle clearly changes and then we have the leading region and what this will do it will change the transparency of anything to the right or below the bar so here if i change my width and my progress in the center and I move change the leading region as I increase this you see how the transparency changes from right and below and everything on the right is a little bit more visible and the trailing region will do the same thing both the left and upper part of your mask so if I increase this you notice how the left side begins to get very clear and the next type is wipe and in this effect the progress doesn't change where it is left or right but changes how far 
kind of like the width, it goes from left to right. So when the progress is zero and I increase it, you notice that the mask extends from left to right until it covers the whole screen. And then once again, the fall off, which is similar to soften, will soften the edges. And you can see on the right edge how it sort of softens and shrinks a little bit. And the strength, which is something new, but is very similar to the leading region and trailing region in the bar. So as I, so it will adjust the transparency of anything to the left or right or upper bottom of it. So as I decrease this, you notice how everything to the right becomes more visible. And you can't tell anything from the left because my effect comes from the left, so there's nothing that my effect isn't covering to the left. And then lastly, we have the ellipse mask. And here you notice the first thing is softness, which is similar to the rectangle. Then you have your width and your height, so you can adjust that to change the size. So you can sort of see as you increase that, the ellipse shape that's shown. And then you have your X position, changing it on the horizontal axis, and your Y position, moving it on the um, vertical axis. And that is it for this effect. So you have your four types your three modes, and your effect tab with all these adjustments. This is a very complicated and complex effect, so I hope you guys are able to follow along. I apologize for it being so long, but the more the effect brings, the longer the tutorial will be. So please remember to come back later and tomorrow and the next day to continue my tutorials, and uh, please remember to subscribe and like and comment and if you have any questions, email me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com, and I will see you guys later. And if you have any questions, email me at ad.videoeditor at gmail.com, and I will see you guys soon.